Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brian Petovich here. We're talking about the winter weather chances this weekend, which continue to go down and look less likely. Um, yesterday, they were wishy-washy. If anything, the last 24 hours of the data is starting to show that this is probably not going to happen. I still show you kind of the setup and why people are keeping an eye on it, but a lot of what you're seeing online is people focusing on an outlier model and not looking at the overall picture. And we're also missing the fact that between now and the weekend, we're going to have some warm and wet weather, maybe even flash flooding in parts of the mountains, which we'll t focus a lot about on air and online the next couple of days. But remember our winter weather forecasting rules. Um, we had a little bit of a favorable pattern here in the 7 to 10 day range, but now we're in the 5 to 7 day range. And we're starting to notice uh, the trend is going down. So this is the time period we start looking. Is it more likely, less likely? I'll be honest with you, it's looking a lot less likely. And I'll explain why. Yesterday we showed you the chances. We had a pretty big area of 10 to 30 percent, which is pretty low. Um, that has shrunk even more today. So you're seeing now uh, generally something in the 0 to 10% chance and the 10 to 30 has shrunk to the east and even by Monday morning the little eastern part of the state still has a little risk there. So we'll keep an eye. There's still a chance I think of a little bit of snow, sleet, freezing rain in the eastern part of the state but even there I think the overall pattern has reduced and you can see the winter weather outlook, in, uh, winter storm impact outlook still looking limited to low. Um, we'll keep an eye on eastern North Carolina. So for folks following me in eastern North Carolina, we'll still watch this. But even there, it's a pretty marginal event. Um, it's fast. It doesn't happen quick, but it could affect Sunday morning church services. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm going to show you the GFS model because it's the outlier. <laughs> this is the one that is really going gangbusters. And I'll show you why it's kind of showing us also that it's trending in the direction of all the other data we look at. The European ensembles, the GFS ensembles, even of this model, are all trending drier and further east. So here's our system. Now this is what I talked about. This is eventually going to cause some pretty warm air and some pretty heavy rain. So one thing I don't want people to forget, especially in the mountains, we're going to see some wet weather. In fact, there are some flash flood watches up for Tennessee and northern Georgia. Um, this is going to produce some very heavy rain because watch this front just kind of wiggle back and forth as little waves of low pressure develop on it. Huge winter storm on the cold side of this front. But as we go into the weekend, this is starting Friday, we see the front move through some heavy rain, maybe even a strong thunderstorm south um, where the warm air can really get in. And then it moves to the coast for the weekend. So this is Friday night into Saturday morning. It looks dry Saturday. So even the, the GFS, which is aggressive, has us dry all day Saturday. Then Saturday night into Sunday, it tries to form a wave here. And what I mean by that is along the old front, we've got a little ripple of low pressure. To the north, we've got high pressure. This is our source of cold air, the high pressure. Now, if that source of cold air anchored there or stayed there, I'd be probably something I'd keep an eye on. And if this low pressure was wiggling back and forth, I would still keep an eye on it because the high's there. But two things, the high doesn't stay there very long. So we lose the cold air in almost every scenario. And it's banking on these two things sinking up, which is always tough to do and why you're seeing a lot of discrepancy even in this guidance. But you can see... Going into Saturday night, early Sunday morning, it brings this wave up. But unlike yesterday, which had this wave of low pressure over here tracking this direction, it's starting to shift east, which is what all the other guidance is showing. So it's starting to trend towards what all the other guidance is showing. But even here, look how quickly this thing is in and out. That's why I said even if this uh, materializes for eastern North Carolina as it continues to trend east, it's not going to be a long duration event. It is in and out by midday on Sunday. So it's it's fast. It's in and out and gone. Um, and the other thing you notice, the high, the, the cold high pressure system is moving out as well. So two things you know that I said were a pretty big red flag for me yesterday are still big red flags and why you don't put too much stock in this. You've got these two things moving east fairly quickly. For them to sync up is pretty hard to do. And even if they do, it's such a limited impact. It's almost as if you know, it, it's it that that tells me that this far out into the future, we're probably not going to see something materialize. So let me show you what other, everything else is showing. So you know, I'm a big proponent of ensembles, looking at all the simulations. We got 81 different variations of the two main global models, the European and the GFS. So let's let's look at those for snowfall. Um, yeah, it, actually, the mean for the GF or for the European is showing no snow, <laughs> um, and the GFS is trended back to a trace. So it's trending the way of the European and the other models, um, which show almost nothing. Let's look at the, the stamps, because I showed this yesterday, and people uh, tend to appreciate this, because this is what you don't often see online. People don't share this stuff. They kind of just go with what looks the best to them. Um, so this is Sunday morning. We'll show you the first 25 
um, ensemble members. Look at nothing, 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 nothing snow, nothing, nothing, nothing flurries, nothing, nothing, nothing except for the coast, maybe a little ice, nothing really, nothing, 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 something, nothing. You get the idea. There's a lot more nothings in there. And that's just the first, you know, 25 members. Let's look at the next 25. Ugh. Let's look at that again. We'll go into Sunday morning. Um, stop it right there. Nothing, 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 nothing. Something, nothing, nothing. So you get the idea. There's more nothings than somethings, right? <laughs> That's kind of when you say, eh, the, 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 the mean, if I take all of those, the, the higher percentage of nothing is going to win out. And it's not 50-50 either. It's like 75, 25, maybe 80, 20 um, there. Let's look at the GFS, um, which is the ensemble. We can look there. Even it says... Oh man, there's only a 16% chance, maybe a 10% chance of one inch of snow back towards the Charlotte area. There's still higher probabilities east, so it's something to keep an eye on. And then you look at the European, it's even lower. So when you look at the totality of the information, which is what I do, I don't look at one single piece of data, everything tells you this is not going to be a big deal. And the one outlier, the wet, cold outlier that's the GFS, is trending the direction of all the other information. So that's why you're seeing, you know, these winter weather products like this starting to whittle down and trend down. Now, it's still something to keep an eye on. We're not going to let our guard down. I'm not going to just, oh, it's done. Just like things can trend down, they can start to trend back up. But I will tell you right now, the overall trend is for this thing to stay offshore. Do I think we could see some rain? Maybe a little bit of sleet Saturday or Sunday morning? I think there is a possibility. But again, even in the perfect setup here, this does not look to be a big storm or a big event. It's just something to watch right now for Sunday. I think the rain this week is probably the bigger story for a lot of us because we could see some flash flooding in parts of the mountains if that heavy rain does set up. Of course, I'll be watching this for the next couple of days. Don't worry. I will continue to post vlogs as we go through the next uh, three or four days and we get closer to Sunday. Stay safe. Stay tuned for updates. And I'll have an update probably coming up tomorrow morning and tonight on WCNC Charlotte.